they like tried to do that in Digimon World 2, but with having, but it, it was so focused on the people and not the Digimon that it was like kind of lame. And this one, you just go around and travel around like a typical RPG. So they completely abandoned that. And I'm pretty sure they never go back to that, like building a, building up the city kind of thing. Um, Let's see, I'm going to have to make this the proper size. Oop. Oop. This is not going to be size. It's going to be Dark Cloud 2. What, Digimon World 1? Or that game I just played. How is it compared to the first two? Uh, first one is still is the best one. Two is, two is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but boring. Three is Pokemon, but boring. Maybe this size properly. Hey, we're playing Metal Gear now. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, a little too small. Oh, you don't see that. <laughs> Um, nope. Yeah. Uh, a little more. Boop. Should be good. New game. Fuck. Forgot this game. Does it different? Anyway. No, that's not baby mode. Reset. I want my baby mode. Shush. No, not, no, new game. Yes. GS3, baby mode, thank you. Okay, now we can play the game. Yay! After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Yeehaw. David Hater. Other people. Jim Ward, Brian Cummings. More people. 30 a.m. August 24th, 1964, Pakistani airspace. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Welcome to the best thing Hideo Kojima ever did, and will ever do. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask.
Does this pantywaist know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mind. I watched the super H HD Pachi slot version of the cutscenes the other day. It was wacky. complete checking oxygen supply six minutes to drop off opening rear hatch all right Let's fucking go sunrise just like in my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh episode Cigar. Oh, he stepped on it. Stand by. Status okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. We. Look at him go. Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. I love when Snake just repeats so everything he just heard mission? with a question mark at well, the end. About two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. Stepanovich. Head of the OKB 754 Design Bureau one of the Soviet's top-secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. Yeah. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin... Quote, you get Yuri Gagarin. One, ...known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? They were scary. Crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. He used the mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. Mm -hmm. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. 
president demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments. This game is like 90% of my history knowledge. But the Soviets didn't back down. Instead, placing their armed forces was never good at history. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. Not a Metal Gear. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov... Those don't exist yet. ...scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital. Handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So, what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missile. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't All the same to me. To be a new they go pchew. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi-palatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out a few... semi-palatinsks for you. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No, according to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Back to the present. Falling in the sky. Choo choo choo. I can't see anything. Ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. Tick tock. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The and then in all the system. other games after this, it, it was instantaneous. The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? 
She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own. Paramedic. Tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. <laughs> but if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. We. I wonder what that tiny parachute on top of the big parachute does. Yeah, watch out for that tree. There he be. The nakedest of snakes. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You <laughs> might not have a choice. What about you? I'd order one in a restaurant. I've never eaten snake. Let's see. I'd try I'll it. Be... But gator. I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will Ground be control, Major Tom. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're uh, completely naked, aye, as aye. your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No, <laughs> there's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical <laughs> supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. All right, let's fucking go. We do 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 little do. That's right. I don't have shit because I don't have my backpack. Doop 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 doop. Hey.
Major, I got my backpack. I'm ready for school. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival Tutorial. is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. Major reminds you of a meme. What is the double. meme? Your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy Tranquilizer. Sergeant Major. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. That's a silly name for a fish. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own. I only need one weapon. Who's and it's the easy gun. Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges. No poo poo or pee pee. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. There's a difficulty you can play on where you automatically lose if anyone sees you. Every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape Capsule. Body so you can take it when you need to. How generous. Silly British man. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It will send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. It's just well, like it at the end of JoJo Part 3. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Hell yeah. I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition. Acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as oh, well, and God. she's here on the gunship with me. She? Uh, Hello, lady. Nice to meet you. Yay! She's hot. A medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Ooh. Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. Ah, uh, Nemo. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency Her birthday is, is seven days before mine. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency. 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary yeah, boss. Yeah, the boss. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years is it then? Boss? 
That's right. It's me. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Snake has mommy issues. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, okay. technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And one of the seven deadly sins. Thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. The worst sin of all. All of six. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not so his place to question true. Why, but you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. Yeah. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have. That's right. Me. The boss canonically ended World War II. Thing, boss. Yes. It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. Not really. We could shoot a certain guy's yeah, working ball. I don't know. Apparently, MGS5 was originally. Next to the major. 
going to be about the Cobra unit. So I've heard. But we didn't get that version, so. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Yes. Combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. <laughs> Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. I got a snake. What's that? A knife. No. Commencing virtuous mission now. Yeah. So virtuous. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah. Dremuchij Swampland. Baby mode activated. Let's go. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> Look, it's Gavials, something like that. I remember. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Oh, trying to hit me, but you missed. Ha 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 Let's catch a snake. Pet snake. Uh, paramedic. Wait. Tell me about the snake. I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. Yes, ma'am. Right. But how do they taste? Huh? Do they taste good? You're actually going to eat one. Why else would I be asking? Cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Let's see what the guide says. Ah, you're in luck. It says they taste pretty good. Mm. Good? I can hardly wait. Ugh. Fuck. Yes. We're gonna be codecing a lot. She's holding the Prima guide. Might as well be. Sokolov should be at the abandoned factory to the north. So head in that direction. You don't have shit to say. Fuck you. Alright. Paramedic's the main person we'll be talking to. She talks about all the animals and stuff. Wait, if I go hang out next to one of these guys, will she tell me about it? I'm gonna trank this guy. These guys are like one of the only animals where if you trank them and then you get close to them, they will wake up and get mad. Uh, wait, wrong button. Uh, okay, right. That area is inhabited by Indian gavials. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes, but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So, how do they... Taste? Yes, I did look into that. You know what they always say. Tastes like chicken. Sounds delicious. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally, they're cowardly creatures. But the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently, they attack humans. What do you mean? 
They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. These are atomically powered gavials. And that's a beehive. Ah! Everybody tell me about bees or hornets or whatever. I see you've got yourself a Baltic hornet's nest. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The difference between them and other hornets Welcome to is Animal that they honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, I see. the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. In short, it's the perfect survival food. Honey can also be used as a burn ointment. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it, so don't forget to pick it up. Of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you're saying that's hard to pronounce. Down, yeah, probably. Hornets will come flying out, so be careful. All right, we're being attacked by hornets. Let's run. Ah, uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Uh... Okay, they're gone. We need to kill something for later. I need these small critters around that I can slash with my knife. I want the snake. Oh, I'll get, oh there's something. There's a frog. Alright, I'm gonna slash this frog. Come here. Gotcha. And we got a fruit. Alright, tell me about th tell me about it. I see you've caught a tree frog. Damn right. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Use the tranquilizer gun to catch one alive. I bet you could scare an enemy good if you toss one at him. What the snake's for? But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? Yes. What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So... I she was going to say, oh, fuck you, you mean, for a sec. Edible? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably. I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. Looks like you found a galova. Galova? Yeah, it's a fruit that's found only in that region. It's related to the jackfruit, which is commonly found in Southeast Asia. Jackfruit, huh? Yep, he's a cannibal. <laughs> I didn't say anything. No, I'm sure you... I said, I'm sure you'd like it. Oh. Golova means head in Russian. So head? It's probably called that because the fruit grows to about the size of a human head. It's supposedly pretty good to eat with a uniquely sweet flavor. The fruit itself is fairly large, so you can make a meal out of it. Golovas grow directly off the <laughs> trunk of the tree. If you're running low on stamina, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the tree trunks. All right, Capitan. Let's save. Saving the game, Snake? 
and listen to the first of many conversations about movies. Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No, what is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Hell yeah. <laughs> Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. How does the original hold Dr. up? Dr. Shirazawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. That's fair. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Ha ha ha. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies, then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. Oh, really? <laughs> you sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Would you guess that Kojima really likes movies? Anyway, what's that? That's another snake. All right. Time to play the game, by which I mean, no, it's not. There is no game playing here. This is this is a visual novel, whether you like it or not, and I love it. Oh my God! It's a guy. It's two guys. Major. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. The snake Eater it is. I'm playing the subsistence version. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation. Oh yes, of it's Snake Eater. War. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? Subsistence is basically like the uh the point of this mission is to special edition version without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage from the survival viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends I'll in I'll paint your face. <laughs> more effectively. Just kidding, I would never do that to the boss. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up Not that and I run could. around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. Oh my god, he's naked. Like a the snake. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. Vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Mm. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? One with the trees. All right. Hello. 3DS version of this game had some pretty cool. I've heard that it actually was a pretty good like you wouldn't you wouldn't immediately think so, but it's actually a really good port apparently. Should have but but I didn't hear about that until like after the 3DS was dead. So it's probably very expensive to get now. 
You can shoot their radios. Tee hee hee hee. I'm gonna throw a snake on this guy. You can take a picture and use that as cam- That's fucking cool, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's an amazing feature. I love that. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, backpack. Right, right, right. We're gonna throw a snake on this guy. Let's go. Whoa. You won't see me. It's fine. Do, 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 do. They're pretty dumb on baby mode, and also I'm at, at my easy gun on, which means I'm basically always... I'm always at at least 80%. We just gotta get like right up on him before we throw the snake. Um, I, my camera will drop when he starts moving. So I gotta. Aha! 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 Snake! Snake! Aha! Get him, snake! Get him! Oh my god! You, how dare you! Fuck you! You just killed that snake. I don't know if it's here right now. There's like a poisonous snake you can catch here, and if, if you throw a poisonous snake at someone, uh, it will poison them. I, I don't think it is though, because there's birds in the grass. The birds wouldn't be there if there was a snake. There's also these frog guys you can shoot. I think you get stealth camo if you shoot them all, but I've never done it, because every time I try to do a playthrough where I get them all, I always get like 80% through and then get bored. Because going around trying to find them all is kind of tedious. You know what? I'm going to run past you guys. You'll never see me. Yo! I'm gonna shoot your radio. Oh, yeah. oh no, I should shut him. Oops, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Ildino Vodno. Should have caught a crow or, or whatever kind of bird that was and asked paramedic about it. Camouflage. Now I've got my binoculars. What's that up there? It's another hornet's nest. Eating -de grin, I love it. <laughs> Take this. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, oh my god, it's windy. I'm a snake. Climb up. Uh, first time I played this game. Ah! I hit X instead of triangle to pull myself up and fell off the bridge. It was kind of funny, honestly. Mushroom. Tell me about the mushroom. I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the ink cap family. Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap. That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Why's that? 
Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down. Dehydrogenase sounds like a Greek god. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. Oh. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. Well, I'm knocking a shot back now. <laughs> what? Just teasing you. No. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? I need a drink. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. All right. Uh, let's run down here and get this stuff. We'll get Sigint on the team later, and he'll also talk about, like, guns and stuff. Ah! Okay, well, I just have to go this way. <laughs> uh, whenever we pick them up. But he doesn't join yet. I got, uh, XM16E1. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't know guns very well. That's Sigint's job. He can tell me about guns later. Also, the guards got scared off by the hornets, but they do come back eventually. Which is fair. I think I, I think that was literally them coming back right there. They would have like come around that corner if I had taken too long to get out. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a, I wonder if it, is that a bird? Probably a bird. Major. I've reached the abandoned major. Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I see a guy. I see Sokolov from here. I see two guys. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. At least two. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Oh, yeah, Captain. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. Hmm? You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. Okay. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Adorbs. All right, let's fucking go. You know what? I'll play. I'll play without the easy gun, just for you guys. Um, lectern's probably the best out here, and woodland. Well. I'll keep splitter, it doesn't make a huge difference, and it, I think it's actually better once we get inside the building. Alright, let's see. Shoot this guy in the head. Oh, gotcha. Alright. Let's go. Shoot that guy. Nice. Super, 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 super. Nice. Oh, what trap? Trap grenade. Those are not nearly as much as big of a thing in this game as they are in other MGS games. Uh, let's see. Oops, I keep forgetting the circle is confirm. 
Uh, squares. Yeah, I thought so. I thought splitter would be better. Oh, all right. Wait for this guy to come around. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to. Do 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 We did it! That was the final boss. I hope you guys like Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm gonna go pee here in this cutscene, BRB. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the Army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the Motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the Army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far, but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside... Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. 
Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Back just in time for my gay boyfriend. This is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? Look at him. He's the Ocelot commander. Huh. That's Major Ocelot. He's even got a little scarf thing on. Don't you forget it. And he does twirls. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. An Ocelot never lets his prey escape. Do the thing. What? Do it. Do it. Oh wait, he doesn't do the thing yet. He just shoots him. Bam! He does do a cool thing. To this next guy. Ricochet bullet, yeah! He's got his fucking cowboy spurs on. say it feels good to kill a comrade even if it is for the Gru <gasps> Sokolov take cover huh. you're not the boss are you and looking into each other's eyes
Yeah. He meowed. He did it. He did the thing. Catboy Ocelot is real. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Ooh, you fucked up. So come on, be quiet. I really feel like out of every MGS game, this one is the closest to being like a spaghetti western. Where people are, two people are fighting and for a couple of frames it flashes an image and making out with a vine boom. No, but that, I feel like that describes every interaction these two have. some fancy shooting you're pretty good pretty good yeah <laughs> he said the other thing there's so many like quotes and memes from this game i love it Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Harder than Cuba. The whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. If you kill Ocelot here, you get a game over because it's a time paradox because he's supposed to be alive in the other games. And on the PS3 version, you get a trophy for it. We I'm going to switch camo. For the upcoming coot scene. Pretty sure you can kill all of his dudes, though, that you're not unconscious and it doesn't do anything if you want. I don't know why you would, but if you want. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. Yeah, you're probably I fucked, honestly. 
Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Chew. Look. Guess what that is. That's right. That's what they were making you build. It's not a metal gear. Yes. The Shagohod. The treading behemoth. They don't have the those yet. Capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain. Oh yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. But not in the, the good way. War. Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't Time to stop to World War III. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America. Quickly. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. My help. Got it. Let's go. Just gonna get back to where we landed and everything will be fine. And nothing will go wrong. You can tell when it's a pre rendered cutscene if it's in 30 FPS instead of 60. I guess I'm streaming in 30, so maybe it's not that obvious on the stream. Hey, who's that? Oh shit, what's the boss doing here? That's crazy. Boss. Wah. Wah. Don't knock Sok Sokolov off. God damn. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. No. Not the Hornets. Anything but the Hornets! Hornets. And this guy. That's right. These motherfuckers got silly magic powers. He controls Hornets, the other guy has... He's kind of like a spider, I guess, with a long tongue. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. This one's old. That's his superpower. Five of us are together. It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. Now it's raining. That's not her power. It's raining blood. That's his power. Is he crying? He's also a ghost. Mm. 
to give mommy issues to one specific guy. So true, and she sure is good at it. Kuwabara, Kuwabara is my favorite Yu Yu Hakusho character. I like his cool sword. And his hairdo. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Colonel Vogan, Neil Ross. Boss. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. Mm -hmm. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Ooh, and she just completely took my gun apart in like a second. Ow, my face and my arm. How she's seen my face. We can't let him live. This guy's got electric powers. This pulls out. Yeah, the chef finds out about this. We're finished. Uses his electric powers to shoot bullets. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. Jack, you can't come with us. That's right. Reach up with your one good arm. I'm sure nothing bad will come of it. Uh, he's trying. And goodbye. Onto Sokolov's research facility. All he managed to do was take off her bandana. Shagohat is ours. And that is how Big Boss got his bandana. Drift away. My place is with them now. Yeah, he's not dead. He's just severely wounded. Mm, that's just me waking up when my alarm goes off. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, 
Listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button. And this is how you become a doctor. I just show you this. Your injuries include and they hand you your degree. Left elbow and rib bone, and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left analog stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left analog stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. Yay! First secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap Complex in Complex healing mechanics. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Oh wait, that was the wrong button. Alright, Snake, don't die on me. I gotta cut. Alright, we need to fucking disinfect it and stiff to get. And I gotta suture it and I gotta bandage it. And I gotta do that again. You don't actually have to do it in order. Cut. I always wondered why they, they didn't make you do it in order. But I guess maybe they thought it'd be too annoying. Did I have done that blind... what? Oh. Healing myself? No. I mean, I could learn it. Doesn't seem like it, it would be pretty easy. Easier than... Fighting a Zelda boss. <laughs> Gotta count how much you do this and that and that and this. That looks like it hurtied. Like he would have gotten that thing where like your vision goes out for a sec when he did that. Bandana. Use it as a sling. Creative. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you mm -hmm. set it up? I'll try. I'm to helicopter the Shago Hard away. Shago Hard. Shago Hard. I don't have to worry about any of that pesky vision later. <laughs>
Hey, it's Volgan. And Ocelot. She's really upset about that one bullet that got jammed. Time to play with his new toys. And as a woman. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. I don't remember if they say in this cutscene, but that missile launcher he has. No, is it the warhead or the missile launcher that's called a Davy Crockett? One of the what two are we is. Going to She's Sokolov's woman. Sokolov did not land her. You fucking lying to me. Sokolov do, does not have that kind of riz. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. KGB. We may be able to use her. She has spunk. <laughs> Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! Chew. Fuck! Nuclear radiation! I'm pretty sure Big Boss can... Or Naked Snake can canonically not have kids after this moment. That's why they cloned him. Save the game, yeah. Had a piss radiation event. That's his superpower. <laughs> He's like a walking Godzilla. All right, I'm muting during this. Have enjoy the song. I hope it doesn't get copyright stricken. What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart. But you're so
a tree frog It's so dear the trial to survive For the day we see new light Give more life Not for honor But for you In my time I'd buy that, just to get to play as Naked Snake, my favorite snake, one week later. Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace, arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze systems shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone. I said no guts for a sec. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We're gonna have to do a Call of Duty jump. The ground as we did during the virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the Fortnite night drop. <laughs> Where are we dropping, boys? Go to the tilted towers. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Mm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuban. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKD-754, was Khrushchev sitting on his bed, kicking his feet. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Oopsie. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military... Like the phone line in his fingies. <laughs> Armageddon. <laughs> With the help oh my god, did you like was able to survive. have a plane in our airspace? Oh my god. It's not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have you 
so naughty. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Yevgeny. Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The boss? The mother of your special forces? Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new host. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, this terrible boss, tragedy. Colonel Volgan's help stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? Ooh. It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. Busted. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe it. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one thing. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the Press. remaining nuclear devices. I says the president. President, I says. You must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. <laughs> means nothing. What does it mean, Mr. President? Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued what if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? Yeehaw. If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Ride him up, cowboys. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the 
Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September like the 1960. Teeth? Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA code breakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks. I've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. Speaking of code breakers. We Yeah. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude thirty thousand feet. Was Johnny Cash? What? Was it really? Like the Johnny Cash? What the fuck? Why why was he the one to break the news? He intercepted the message. How the fuck did he decode the message? What was Johnny Cash up to in those thigh high cowboy boots? Oh, I didn't realize he was a code breaker when he was in the military. We hope nobody notices our fucking plane, the thingy that just crashed. We, yeah. Colonel, I'm not dead. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Yes. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Mm -hmm. Then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. You. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed... Operation Snake Eater. Ah. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came I would have heard the song. Oh, must have missed that one. Anyway. It's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. <laughs> you used the name of the tunnel Dick. they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But... But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. Harry, what? I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't Fancy. sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use zero like we've been doing all along. All right, then. 
Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Mm -hmm. Is this her last chance too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission. 145.73. I wonder how many people play She'll these games and they, they don't use the, well, just like the, last time. the memory thing. They that actually make themselves the remember and like manually put in the frequencies every time they want to call someone. On your support team. His name is Mr. Sigin. Hey. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. He'll be going up against some of the Remember the DARPA chief from MGS1? Research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way. Adam and Eva. How will I know what is this? Near Automata? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area has been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots and Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. And I'm staring down the barrel of a 45. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. Mm. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. An interesting other tutorial sections like don't get seen no matter what and this section's like eh it's fine if you get seen. I'm going to fucking shoot this snake. Just because I need it for later. Is that another reticulated python? I think it was food. Yeah, we already got one of those. All right. What is this? Oh, right. Medicine. Does paramedic have anything to say about that? Draw some meat again. Paramedic. Snake, it's so good to hear from you again. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? Four days, actually. Huh? I visited you in the hospital. You were still unconscious, though. Ah, then you must have seen me naked. Yeah, but you were all wrapped up in bandages and tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. But <laughs> seriously, don't forget that you were like that until just yesterday. In fact, you really shouldn't even be on this mission. Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. If you start to run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get yourself hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten by a venomous animal, go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself using. I think you also regain stamina when you yeah, yeah. stop playing the I game. See you still know how to nag. You're welcome. And I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. Maybe so. Doesn't really matter. Very easy. Way, stamina I heard goes down so slow. It's if this mission fails. Nothing. Yes, there was talk of that, but the mission won't fail, will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. But you know what? I really don't care about my medical license. Didn't they use that to force you to participate? Was that naturally? Yeah, just on its no, own. I volunteered. Why? So that I could watch over you. If it gets too low, your stomach Snake, growls and your aim gets I've shaky seen, and stuff. But you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble to make sure you and the boss don't kill each other. Gotta eat food to get it back up. So that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. 
meets again. Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. His birthday is 11-11. I am the expert and he's from on Nashville, weapons, Tennessee. and cutting-edge technology. Ah. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detectors. He's younger you during this game than I am right now. Equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Neat. Let me check grammatic again. I want to see if she has anything to say about this thing I just picked up. Snake, unlike the nope. virtuous mission, this not. is a night operation. That's fine. You'll be encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Some of them are venomous, like the king cobra, so be oh. careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, the poison will spread through your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. If that's the case, go into the cure screen and survive. King Cobra is nocturnal. And inject yourself with serum. Got it? Neat. Butterfly. Yeah. There's the tree. There's the tree with a snake on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna easy get it. Paramedic, tell me about the snake. I see you caught yourself a green tree. Snake tree. -er. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile, too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. Australia? It's a really pretty green color, and it lives... Oh, my God. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? N nothing. <laughs> oh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I, I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? <sighs> it was awfully pretty, though. Nice. I heard a horse. Why is there a horse out here? In this conversation while playing with her Madagascan hissing cockroach on her desk. I could see it. It's a white horse. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Oh shit. We meet again. What are you doing here? Paramedic, don't you fucking dare. You are not eating that horse. <laughs> Ow. Oh, there goes my forty-five. Go home. Ow. Meow. Fuck. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Yeah. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Fuck. I'm not 
such a boss anymore. I was going to ask, but I am pretty hungry now to think about it. How hungry? <laughs> the, the horse just stares at me. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. Well, it's not actually the virtuous mission anymore. Why her bullets spin like that? I don't feel like that would be good for bullet thing. I'm sure this is based off of a real gun. That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Hello. It's a patriot. Yeah. That's what they call it in this game, too. I didn't know if it was like a fake gun based on a real gun. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty, loyalty to your country or loyalty to, to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. Think you're missing on that game with it? You get the gun in your synergy? You. Hell yes. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past oh, yeah. behind you, you it. won't survive long. If we meet Ow. Them, I'll kill you. Fuck. Now, go home. Nate cannot catch a break. Naked Snake is no brony, no. He is not. This is Snake. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians, that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. I'll do my best. Let's see. Here they come. Um. Huh? Fucking got them. Didn't even need the easy gun. Get wrecked, nerds. I got a bird. I got a frog. Another bird. Hey, paramedic. Actually, I should probably get away from these guys. I think their thing goes down even when I'm doing uh, stuff in my codec. All right. Now let's call paramedic. I see you've caught yourself a Sunda Whistling Thrush. Mm. The Sunda Whistling Thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. 
If you're aiming to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So... And How does it taste? I've accidentally yeah. killed it. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. The guide doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so... I'm also, sure I'm pretty sure it's randomized every time you play point. what <sighs> food Snake likes and doesn't like. I see you caught an otten frog. The otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. Freaky. Got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. Shut up, Kojima. Fucker. Uh, you know what? Let's go eat. Let's go have a meal. We're gonna eat a fucking bird. Hell yeah. Did you guys like that snake ASMR? I forgot how like in your ears that was. It is a little bit after World War II. Yeah. It is. Um. Isn't well, you know. Oh, I know. What's uh, what's my good camo for this area? Woodland. Black's probably the just generally good for the nighttime stuff. So, run lectern. Lectern's good. Naked Snake: The Adventure of Sonichu. I guess, no, I guess I would actually make Naked Snake Bob. Huh? Ooh, that was close. I was going to try to get up right on right behind him and uh, take him out myself, but... Sneak, 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 sneak. I think we're good. I don't, I don't remember where the guy that's over here is. Uh, is there a guy over here in this part? I actually don't remember. I'm going to be risky and just kind of run around. Maybe not. Maybe there's just that one dude. I guess maybe it, since I'm on the easiest difficulty, and this is the section where you technically aren't supposed to have a gun, unless you use, use a very easy gun, but you know. Try not to use that. I got the raindrop uniform and a smoke grenade. I wonder if uh, Sigan has anything to say about any of that. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. Just a glimpse For into my twisted rage, mind. The fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss. Because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Uh. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Anything else? The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. 
every building within 150 yards of the hypercenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had was Davy Crockett even a real guy who was at the Alamo? So for all I know, he wasn't. That. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. He was? Oh. I know. Was he a cool guy or was he a pizza shit that got turned into a cool guy? Through history. Shenanigans. Also, one of the things that this version of the game added was the 3D camera. Norm this is what the game looks like on the normal version. With the static camera, and you can just do this. Probably mostly cool. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Crossfits. There's no guards here. I'm gonna... Switch into oops. Camo for the next area. Ah. Yeah. 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 Oh, we can get a box here actually. I almost forgot. Box is actually really useful for going fast because for some reason they didn't program snake. Oh, come on. They walk slower up slopes, up and down slopes in the box only when he's just like walking around normally. So you move full speed if you're in the box, no matter what terrain you're on and if it's flat or not. Thermal goggles. Those will be handy later. Where is Adam? Password. Answer me. Trapped. Oh fuck. Get down. Uh using that momentary fusion from the lights going off. that before but when snake looked at her after she said that he had like a little lip twitch woman email then emoid oh shit you got her boobies out snake's taking a peek <laughs> God damn it, Snake. His mustache started to grow under the full moon. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. 
Are you here to tempt me? Hee hee hee. What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. Nick's not a weeb, but he is a gun otaku. Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. <laughs> Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Oh, you fucking gun nerd. Electric box you color with non-electric cauliflower too. cutter attachment. <laughs> What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? It's just the first episode yes. of SpongeBob all over again. Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then. Yes, he's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohai. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Yeah, I don't know, but it Tell made me think of the, the fucking thing from SpongeBob. From the rear. First, he'll need to the wacky the ass jungle. spatula the on the first episode. Or the pilot, I don't know. And continue north, and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area, and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave, and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse, and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife. Oh, what do they the replace it with? And still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. Yeah, fair. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. It's dangerous to go alone. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information, nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. Awuga.
I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. There's a snake hand in a bowl of warm water. <laughs> Fuck. It was all according to plan. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. I was right. I remember. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, <laughs> the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and broke my care. arm. I'm gonna go. Doctor's orders. Okay. I'm gonna take two melatonin yeah. pills and okay. I'll be fine in the morning. Save the game, yeah. Alright, we're gonna do the first boss fight and then I will end for the night. What is Eva up to out there? Something suspicious, no doubt. Wakey, wakey. But... Oh shit. It's the Ocelot unit. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. It's first boss, but honestly, I'd argue, especially if you're doing on the higher difficulties, one of the harder ones. It's the only, it's the only boss where you're like, well, it's one of two bosses where you're constantly trying not to be seen. All the bosses are more bossy. Hey, look who it is, my boyfriend. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Ooh, we got a kiss. Don't go dying on me now. Uh. All right. I'm ready to go. Uh you automatically start with the uh lethal gun equipped uh which i don't want to be using because i don't like doing killing stuff unless i absolutely have to anyway uh oh uh, wrong one Oh, I meant to do that before you got here. Spread out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ow. Uh, run, 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 run. I got a mind detector. Nice. Ow, you fuckers. Two down. 
All right, there's two left. Let me heal. Uh, ointment, uh, bandage. All right, there's one dude on top of the roof that we gotta get at some point. There's a dude out here. Gotcha. Uh oh. Uh oh, fuck. Didn't think the roof guy would come that fast. All right. Uh oh, take this stun grenade. I think I missed. No, oh, I got him. Okay, cool. And that's the first boss of the game. Pew, pew, pew. Who's shooting? Who's rooting, tooting, and shooting out here? I've been waiting for this moment. Oh fuck! Ooh, look what kind of gun he's using this time. And he's got the fucking bullet from before wrapped around his neck. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? Also, female spy. Can't just go doing that. This bitch is wearing perfume. Can't just go doing that either. Stay where you are. Even if you are gay. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. No been one encounter with this time. man, and he fucking tied the bullet an from our fight around his neck and switched guns just because we mentioned offhandedly that he used what revolver. It's a nice gun. Techniques. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. <laughs> and you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Literally. We'll see. Ooh. Gotcha. Ooh. Atacon is 0 for 2. Also, this is fucking kind of brutal, honestly. Right in the chin with the fucking tire. Atacon? Did I say Atacon? I'm an Ocelot. I get their names mixed up a lot. They sound too similar. And they both want to fuck Snake. Six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. But at this point in the series, Otacon is also zero for two in terms of his love life. So yeah. It's not meant for shooting. Still a true statement. We put it in backwards. T. This isn't over yet. Did the thing with his fingies. Don't. Why? Otacon uh is not alive at this point. You'll regret stopping me. He has not been conceived. Got to get back before he does. What everyone has to say. It looks like you've got rid of all the ocelots. Yeah. Now proceed with the rescue of Sokolov. You know what? I probably should have called Sigint during the boss fight. Actually, he probably would have had something to say. You trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? How do I know she won't double cross me? 
There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake, only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance that she'll betray you is low. Ah. Uh. Of course, we checked the route she gave you against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defenses. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Roger. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. Will do. Here, medic, you got anything? Snake, there are rats living in that area. Fuck yeah. Germa? The rats in that in area this area? are descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Don't you mean venomous? So how do they taste? Paramedic. Snake? What? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they taste okay? <sighs> the guide says they're not that bad. Good enough for me. Ugh. You know, I actually prefer the codex when you can't see them talking. I don't know, maybe... It, I think it, like, lets you kind of use your imagination more for, like, what their faces look like when they're talking. It kind of gets around like, the limitations of, you know, the, the hardware somewhat by limiting it even more and forcing you to use your imagination. Hey, Snake. Remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're going to keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. Hell yeah. Alright. Save the game and wrap up. God, I love this game. I do. This game and one definitely like did by far the best when it comes to like codex stuff. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope. Never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was the scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? <laughs> How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. Ooh, snake with the riz. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going <laughs> for a swim either. Are you calling me a fishman? You started it. Adorable. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, do. Need that. Alright. Let's go see who's streaming tonight. Uh, also, I'm going to have to, I have to be up way earlier than normal. Saturday, so tomorrow's night stream, which I guess is technically the night stream. I moved to Saturday night. Uh, just because either A, if I, if I did it, either A, I'd be really tired when I woke up, or B, I'd cut it short, and then I'd be like, man, I should have just moved it, so I'm just going to move it. We broke, oh, we broke a lot. <laughs> um, Yeah, so Saturday night. Valis, I'm going to do the whole series. I just knocked my water bottle over uh, 30 to 45 minutes a game, just because I... They're not games that I'm, like, interested in fully playing, but, like... They caught my eye enough that I was like, hey, there's four games. They're retro. It'd be kind of fun to, like, 
peek into each one just as like a little showcase or something like that. I don't know. And Sunday we'll do more of this. And then we'll finish MGS3 next week. And also next week is the 8-hour day one Tears of the Kingdom thing. I'm debating if I want to start playing at like 12.30 a.m. Or... Because that, cause that would be like starting right as it came out. But I feel like that would be kind of annoying. Because I'd have to like mess up with my sleep schedule and stuff. So I'll probably just start at like... 2 p.m. Uh, same time the subathon started. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, Minnie's playing Warframe, and that's like Metal Gear adjacent ish. Like, I don't normally get to raid during related uh, games, so I might do that. What? Twitch is being weird. It's like I like clicked on one person and then it loaded their stream and then it switched to a different person on my follow as if I clicked them and then it, uh, it was weird. Anyway, oh wait, I think Minnie's raiding. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, wait, is that what happened? Did Minnie... Some other person on my stream? Oh, they did. Okay. <laughs> never mind, I thought Twitch was, like, being weird and, like, swapping me between channels for no reason. Okay. Well, then we'll raid, uh... Baywitch Clay. I was going to kind of consider raiding them anyway. I don't know. Because I don't really ever raid them. Uh, They're playing Potion Craft. Not as Metal Gear related, but, you know, oh well. Uh, I said all my stuff. Um, so yeah, stream Saturday, Sunday. I'll probably just delete the Twitter schedule since it's wrong now but you know i'll be here saturday and sunday night same time same place uh yeah thanks for coming out have a good, day, good night we'll see you on the stream Mwah.